Hi, welcome to the Gratitude Incarnate Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Rose, author, personal growth coach, and meditation guide. In 2020, when the world was stopped by the pandemic, my personal life seemed to be thriving. I had the things that most American people want in life. The career, the house, the car, the fiance. I had all the things, while so many seemed to be losing so much. But I couldn't figure out why I felt so empty inside. Fortunately, I found help from a therapist and she introduced me to a daily gratitude practice. Now, gratitude is my answer to literally everything. This show is for you if you're just starting a gratitude practice, if you're beginning your spiritual journey, or if you're cultivating a self-care routine. I created a show with quick, straight-to-the-point episodes because as a mompreneur on a mission to relieve anxiety, depression, and grief, I know that each moment matters. If you're ready to embark on your journey to enlightenment by being the embodiment of gratitude, let's dive in to today's episode. Hey guys, so today we have a really, really fun topic that I am super excited to talk to you guys about. Um, I really wanted to like get it together this year with the podcast. You know, when I first started the podcast, it was kind of just like I was really in my feminine energy. Let's just go with the flow. Let's see what happens. There wasn't a lot of structure or, you know, strategy to what I was doing with the show. So this year, I really wanted to harmonize both of those energies and, you know, give myself the honor and space when I need it to, you know, understand that life is going to come up, but also to step more into some of that masculine energy, which is, you know, typically really easy for me. Um, I've tended to live most of my life from that masculine energy. Um, You know, that's a podcast for another day, though. So, What that really means, though, is just getting really structured. So at the beginning of the year, I planned out episode ideas for each week, and that was with the intention to help myself show up with consistency. And, you know, things happen. We can't beat ourselves up. We have to understand that everything we do is like this journey. It's a practice, okay? And we're just learning. None of us really know what we're doing. We're just figuring it out as we go along. I promise. It's just part of being a human. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Being a human and the power of our human bodies. So I deeply believe deep down in my soul that as humans, we are magical. I really believe that everything here on this earthly plane is magical and it was put here for us to play with and manipulate and enjoy you know it's all about energy and what I want to talk to you about today is real life magic wands (laughs) and you're probably thinking okay she's went completely off the deep end, but stay with me, okay? (laughs) We've talked about in previous episodes how our bodies are conduits for energy. We are made up of energy. Um, When I say that we are love and we are light, that is actually science, okay? We have a bioluminescence that we give off from our energy. So what I want you to think about as you go into this week is how you really have limitless energy. You know, I, uh, my coach 
talked about this in her podcast this week, and I have to bring it up because it keeps coming up over and over and over again. I keep hearing it, just like she said in her podcast. People are throwing around this word burnout like it is just a normal thing that we just experience and we just have to go through it. Like, no. Um, I really highly recommend you go check out Michaela J's podcast, Mindset, Magic, and Manifestation. This recent episode is so valuable for people, especially my audience, you know, mompreneurs, women who are moms and running your own business. And some of us even work other jobs because, you know, as we build this business, we need an investor for ourselves. And that's what that job is. That is the investor in our future. And it's so easy to get caught up in the day to day. And I just, I think it's so funny that both of our episodes kind of correspond in this way, because that's what I'm here to talk to you about today is like, not so much how you can avoid burnout. Like we know how to not focus on things, just simply don't focus on it. You know, if you don't want to get burnt out, you don't ever put your focus on burnout. You put your focus on building your energy and restoring your energy, rejuvenating your energy. Okay. Holding space for yourself, maintaining your boundaries. So that's why it seems like I have a lot of energy most of the time because I am constantly working on my self-love practice. I am constantly working in my gratitude practice. And I am consistently taking action towards the things that I deeply desire. And see, this is a key part of this. If you are working towards things that you do not desire, that is going to suck your energy dry, okay? That's probably why you're identifying as burnt out is because you are pouring your energy into things that you don't love, that you don't really want, okay? But when you really are aligned with the things that you're doing, you're going to feel like you have too much energy. Last night, I stayed up till one o'clock. I got up this morning at six o'clock. I did not feel tired. You know, I am enjoying my cup of coffee nice and slowly, not because I need energy, but just because I enjoy this part of my day. Okay. Oh, I, like I said, I'm so excited to bring you guys this information because it's going to be so useful in your life. You know, the things that we say are powerful, but the things that we do are even more powerful. Our bodies are so powerful, okay? And that's what I want to talk to you about today. The real magic wands are our bodies, okay? Our hands, our feet. They are the magic. Every part of you is magical. It is coursing with electricity, with energy. It is vibrating at a frequency. You can use all of this to your advantage, okay? That's part of why I started this podcast is because you guys need to know this stuff because this is how you take power of your life, okay? When you point at something intentionally, you are focusing your power at that direction, okay? So when we use, we can use this like magic, okay? When we have gratitude for our feet and for our legs and we feel this from a deep place, that is magic. Because those feet take you everywhere that you need to go. That is magic, okay? You can set the intention that your feet will only take you where you are supposed to go or where you're aligned with going. I really don't like supposed to. I think that's a word that we're going to work right on out of our vocabulary. Just like try and hope, okay? So, let me stay on track here. <laughs> so... This is like 
a biological thing, okay? Our body has mechanisms and processes. And, you know, this is why it's important to get intentional about what you're eating, what you're drinking, what you're watching, what you're listening to, okay? Because all of that stuff is going to affect, uh, sorry, affect your frequency and your energy levels, okay? A lot of people think that we get energy from food, but a lot of times food decreases our energy, Um So it's really important to be mindful of what we're consuming. Um, Recently, I'll give you an example. Um, I really, really, really love my canned coffees. Black Rifle especially. Um, But I've just noticed a change in how my body feels after I drink them. And usually I don't have... um, an issue in my body if I just drink one, but I like them so much that I usually do have to, like, if I have one, I have to have two. It's like the old Pringles slogan, you know, like, once you pop, you can't stop. Like, I love those Black Rifle coffees so much. Um, But yeah, I I felt like they were, um, my body was not enjoying them the same way as it used to. So, I am not drinking those right now, and I'm just going to stick with my regular coffee, and that's going to help with my energy levels. When I listen to my body, that amplifies that magic that I have, you know, and it's it's all really intertwined, you know, our, what we think in our minds affects our bodies, it affects our energetic field, our aura, also science. That's in another episode. You can just go right up to the top of the show and search auras and it'll pop up. I want you guys to know all of this stuff because I want you to know how powerful you are. A lot of things have been programmed into you from society to take your power away from you. And I'm here to do something about that. (laughs) I'm here to remind you. So there are some things, like I said, that you can do to build that magical energy up. Definitely getting intentional about your food. I... Personally, I subscribe to intuitive eating. I listen to my body about what I want to eat. And sometimes it's, you know, a salad and sometimes it's Sour Patch Kids. (laughs) I really eat Sour Patch Kids. So, yeah. You know, you can also listen to music. Think about the music that you're listening to. You know, think about the lyrics. All of that stuff affects your energy, okay? And I'm not here to force toxic positivity. I'm not saying that all, you know, that you have to listen to like light workers playlists on Spotify constantly, you know, just think about what you're consuming. That's a big thing here. Okay. You're going to, what you're going to put out is going to be a direct reflection of what you're putting in okay and that's not just physically that's mentally emotionally okay this is why our boundaries are so important again you can go to the top of the page type in boundaries it's going to bring up an episode for that okay so um another thing um i'd really recommend googling somatic movement or better yet somatic movement near me um Somatic movement is the practice of like moving consciously with intention and focusing on the internal experience as much as the external experience, okay? Um, That's our magic, you know? We can use the movement of our body in a magic way and produce some really miraculous results that can blow your mind. Um, 
before I go, uh, I, I want to give a fun little example. Ariana Grande talks about it in her song, Just Like Magic. And I actually worked with someone who was um, very much into manifesting. And it's a little trick, just snapping your fingers. <laughs> Um, and it does, it works just like magic. It really, to me, it helps anchor in the belief of getting what you desire of it's done just like that. Like the snap of a finger, it's done. That's when our manifestations really come to us is when we just have unwavering faith that they're, that they're there already. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so. I have faith that this is going to help you this week. Remember your power. Remember how magical you are. And if you're not feeling so magical, then maybe that's an opportunity for you to focus on your healing and do some inner work. And if you need help with that, I'm here to help you. You can follow me on social media, Gratitude Incarnate. Um... You can email me if you are looking for a coach or someone to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Or if you just want a little bit more, you know, of a deeper dive on these podcast episodes, you can always subscribe to the podcast. It's just $9.99 a month. You can cancel it anytime. You know, you can try it out for a month, listen to the episodes, cancel it. Okay. Try it out. See if you like it. So... With all that being said, I think this is a good place to wrap the episode up. Like I said, I have faith that you'll enjoy it because usually when I feel like I ranted for 10 minutes straight, those are great episodes. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys will like it. Um, if you are local to the area... Uh, the Columbia, South Carolina area, I would love for you to come and join me at the Healing Bar. I am so super excited to tell you guys that I am hosting this event, the Self Love Soiree. I've been creating this event for like the last four years. It just, I've tweaked it and then put it on pause, tweaked it, put it on pause, tweaked it, put it on pause. And now here we are. We are ready to go. Saturday is the day um, from 8 to 9 p.m. It's going to be a VIP experience. The doors to the store close at 8. And that's when the VIP guests can come in. I'm going to lead everybody in a guided meditation, break everybody off into groups. I am going to be teaching everyone some really high vibe self-love practices and there's going to be swag bags and sweet treats and drinks and exclusive discounts and all the vibes so um come and check it out if you're interested in that make sure you're following me on instagram and it's pinned at the top of my page so okay yeah i i think that's it <laughs> I love you guys so much. I will talk to you next week and I want you to have a grateful day.